Lesson 11, Nesting Parent Pages. Parent pages are template pages. They are pages in addition to regular document pages that allow design elements to be repeated multiple times throughout a layout. They are similar to styles in the sense that they allow design elements to repeat, but parent pages are more restrictive. They only repeat design elements exactly from one page to another. Whatever repeats must be identical. It must be the same size, the same color, have the same stroke, be in the same exact position on the page, etc. A repeating background element, page numbering, or a logo are all good examples of design elements that may repeat exactly across pages. When these elements repeat across pages in the same exact position on each page, they can be applied via a parent page. Using parent pages is a two-step process. First, add your repeating design elements to the parent page, and then apply that parent page to a regular document page. Let's jump over to InDesign to review this process. In this demo, I will review the steps needed to create and apply parent pages in InDesign. For this demo, I have created a new InDesign document that has multiple pages. My document has four pages, and I have my pages panel open. If you drag down on the top half of the pages panel, you can expose all of your current parent pages. You can see this document has an A parent and a B parent. For this demo, I am going to create a new parent page. You can do that by right clicking anywhere in the top half of the pages panel, which is the parent pages section of the pages panel. Click new parent and you will get the new parent dialog. You can choose your settings. So I'm gonna leave the prefix as C because I already have A, B, C naturally comes next. I'm also going to make this a one page parent and I'm gonna leave the page size. I want my parent page size to match my document page size. The default is that that will match, so I'm not gonna change that setting and select OK. I now have a new parent page, C parent, and if you double click on it, you can navigate to that parent page. And if you double click your regular document pages, you can navigate back to your regular document. Let's double click C parent, and I'm going to do Command or Control Plus to zoom in a little bit. And I wanna show you how to add automatic page numbering. To add automatic page numbering, you need to have a text frame and your text cursor needs to be blinking. Because it will be a little bit difficult to see on screen, I am going to make my typeface comically large. I'm making it 200 points, just so you'll be able to see it on screen. To add automatic page numbering, you'll go to the type menu, choose insert special character, markers, and then current page number. That's again, type menu, insert special character, markers, and then current page number. When you do this, you will not see a number. You will see the letter of the parent page you're on. I'm on C parent, so I see a C. But if I was to apply this to page one or page two or page three in my document, I would see a one, a two, or a three. The last thing that I wanna show you before we apply this to our, page, our document pages is when you are formatting page numbering. Oftentimes you might want the page numbering to be in the top outside corner of your page or the bottom outside corner of the page. And you can't achieve that with a one page parent page unless on the paragraph panel, you change your alignment instead of using left, center, and right alignment on the far right hand side of the panel, there is an option to align towards the spine or align away from the spine. So if I was to select the automatic page numbering and say always align away from the spine and then tuck the text frame into position, when I apply C parent to page one, two, three, and four, no matter what page it's on, whether it's a left or a right hand side page, the page number will automatically flip to be right or left alignment, depending on if it needs to be right alignment or left alignment to move away from the spine. Now that we have our parent page set up, you can apply parent pages in a number of ways. The easiest way is to visually drag and drop a parent page into your document. If you look closely at pages one through four, there's no capital letter on the page. 
the capital letter tells us which parent page is applied. So until I drag and drop parent page C on top of page one, I will not see that capital letter to indicate what parent page is synced. Now I can see a capital C. So if I do that for page two and then three and then four, I can then look at my pages panel and see that parent page C is applied to pages one, two, three, and four. And if I double click and I navigate to page one, my automatic page numbering will automatically change to the page I'm on, page one. When I look at the spread for pages two and three, let's zoom out a little, you will see that my, um, that my page number is pushing away from the spine on pages two and three and away from the spine on page four. If we look closely at our page numbering, you can see that it's in the top right hand corner for pages uh, one and three, but it's not quite in the top outside corner for page two and four. If you go back to the parent page, a trick to this is that you need to make the text frame as wide as you want your text to go. So now my text frame has the ability to force my automatic page numbering all the way to the right or all the way to the left. I'll just make the box a little bit shorter. Now if I go back, page one, top right hand corner, pages two and three, also pushed all the way to the top outside corners, as is page four. Parent pages can be nested in the same way styles can be nested. If a parent page is based on another parent page, it will include all of its own design elements, plus any elements that are on the based on parent page. This allows for the automation of complex designs. A really good example of a nested parent page is when working with page numbering. In most cases, you will want page numbers on all pages but all pages won't have the same design. Maybe your book has four or five different page layouts that you will repeat throughout the design. You can create four or five different page layout parent pages and make them all based on one parent page that has the page numbering. Use the parent pages options dialog to edit the based on parent page settings. You can launch it by right clicking the name of a parent page and choosing parent options for a parent or b parent or C parent. Just like styles, this is easier to understand with visual examples. So let's jump over to InDesign and walk through the example that you can see on screen together. Okay, now we're gonna take our parent page knowledge one step further, and we're gonna learn how to create nested parent pages. Before we get started though, it's important to kind of start with a base. So I wanna clear out my parent page applications. I have a none parent page. I'm gonna drag and drop that onto all of the regular document pages in my project so that I can start fresh. Then my document I've already set up. I wanna show you how the parent pages work before we create one from scratch. So I have a parent page called a parent. On it, I have added a background element where I'm gonna have this light gray in the background kind of just to add some variety on my pages. I also decided that I wanted to have a logo on some of the pages, the left-hand side pages, and I wanted this little horizontal line on the right-hand side pages, but I didn't want a logo on that page. But on every page it gets a logo and a horizontal bar, I also want the background elements. But maybe there are some pages that have no logo, and some pages that have a logo, but every page needs to have that background triangle of light gray. To do this, I first created what I'm calling my base or my original parent page. The background element repeats on every single page of my design. So in theory, I could drag and drop this parent page onto all four pages in my project, and every single page would have that design element. But on the middle spread, I also want to have the logo on the left-hand side and the horizontal line on the right-hand side. So I created a parent page, parent B, and then I applied it to pages two and three. However, when I did that, page one and page four still had the background triangle, and pages two and three, because they had parent B applied, 
only have the logo. So in order to get this to work, I need to make my logo parent page based on the triangle. So I have, I'm on parent A with the triangles and parent B with the logo. If I come up to my parent page and you right click the name of the parent page, you can load the parent options for B parent. There is an option to make your parent page based on another parent page. So if we select based on parent A, which has the background elements, and select OK. Parent B will have all of the elements that I developed on parent B, which is the logo and the horizontal lines. Then it will also include all the elements that are on parent A. But just like a regular document page, I can't edit any of the elements that are on parent A while I'm on parent B. It's just simply repeating that design element for me. So if I go to parent A and I decide that these um, triangles should be a different color, so I switch them from gray to be light blue, and maybe the bottom one is light pink. Anything that is on parent A will flow or repeat on parent B because parent B is based on parent A. So if I go to parent B, I should immediately see any changes I made to parent A because they're connected and anything that changes on A will automatically repeat on parent B. So now, if I wanted to, I could leave parent A applied to page one and page four, and then have parent B be applied to pages two and three. So in my document, I can have a page that only has the triangle. I can have a spread that has both the background triangles plus what's on parent B. And then I can only have the triangle on parent uh, page four, which is uh, parent page A again. Just like nesting styles, Nesting parent pages can be a very complicated process. It is easy to get lost. Nesting styles and parent pages can be confusing. Start slowly. Write down your plan for your nested parent pages so you can visualize it before you start editing in InDesign. Use very simple examples until you feel comfortable, and then you can expand upon your ideas and get more and more complicated.